In this example, what we have is 9 divided by g equals 15 over 10. So again, I'll show you guys two different methods. Now automatically you can say, hey, Ms. McClellan, we have a proportion, right? So I know once we have a proportion, we can solve by cross multiplication, right? So you can say, oh, well, this is not bad. Just cross multiply. So you can say 9 times 10 is going to be 90. And then 15 times g is 15g. Divide by 15, divide by 15, and therefore you get g equals 6. However, ladies and gentlemen, we could also do this another way. If you guys look at this, if you see g is on the bottom, we can't solve when g is in a denominator. So another way that you guys could do this is multiply by g on both sides. So if you had 9 over g, and this works whenever you have a variable on the denominator, we need to get that variable off the denominator. So to do that, what I can do is multiply by g on both sides. And what that does is now that eliminates the g on the left side, and I have 9 equals 15 over 10 g. Now does anybody remember what happens when we have a, a fraction multiplier by a variable? What did we have to do to get rid of that fraction? We had to multiply by the reciprocal. So you can just multiply by the reciprocal, 10 fifteenths, those multiply to 1, 10 fifteenths over 1. So therefore, now you have to do 10 fifteenths times 9 over 1. Well, 10 times 9 is 90, divided by 5 is 6. So there's two different ways to solve that. I know you guys probably prefer the cross multiplication. That's not a problem. Just want you to understand the other way as well. Okay. Um, so, ladies and gentlemen, that is your.